In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite defenses to guard the Gun Bunch. I want to talk you through why I think it could be um, something that's actually very interesting in the big picture of the meta. And kind of share some of the weaknesses of it as well. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player. I try to get better at Madden every day through learning from other people, um, through jumping into the lab myself, and also through learning from uh, times when I lose, uh, lose games. So if you want to get better alongside of me, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button. It's completely free and we upload about eight videos a day with different tips and strategies that we're learning um, throughout the course of a Madden day. Um, the meta can literally shift almost daily um, right now, especially with the Madden Classic, because regs is a lot differently than mutt. So if you want to stay on top of things, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to do so, and it helps me out a ton. All right, guys. So today we're talking about cover to sync, and this is a defense out of my 335 wide defense that I've been recently running. Now, if you want to get the full ebook to the 335 wide, that is in the description of this video. If you want to get a free sample to the 335 wide, um, then go ahead and basically um, text me. My number is in the top left hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so from Bunch, um, there, there's really two or three plays that people are going to use, right? Um, especially in regs. Regs is a lot differently, a lot more different than, than Mutt. And for the rest of this week, I'm going to be zeroing in on regs primarily because the Madden Classic is going on and I'm trying to prepare um, for my next round of games uh, this week. And I need four more win or uh, two more wins to be able to get into the top, uh, I think, top 64. So. Anyways, um, what we're going to do is we have set up the cover two sync as an audible in the nickel 335 wide. You guys know that I really like to audible from 335 normal to either nickel normal or 335 wide, depending on the situation. Um, this is a, a great defense out of 335 wide. So I want to dive into it a little bit with you and kind of learn a little bit more about it. So, uh, first and foremost, we know that gun bunch users are almost always going to run their bunch to the wide side of the field. And if you think about the route combinations that most people are going to be utilizing from the gun bunch, you're going to see a lot of corner routes. You're going to see a lot of, um, you, you don't see as much crossing routes in regs because there's no way to really put somebody on a crossing route. So first things first, I just want to run this cover two sink defense against uh, really the toughest play that I had to defend in the tournament, and that was Flood. And the reason why it was so hard is because Aaron Jones has the backfield master or, or backfield um, running back nightmare or whatever it is. But basically, essentially, if he goes on a route against a linebacker, even if that linebacker is a safety um, he's almost always going to be open um, on out routes and, and things like that. And that's why option routes were so good in the classic. So um, this, this route killed me. But anyways, uh, I just want to dive into dive into this a little bit. So this is a basic setup from Flood. And then we'll go over a couple of other popular setups out of the bunch. So this is Flood. And what you'll see here is this out route is not open, as you can see. And it's able to take this away. That's one of the things that I think is absolutely critical Um to this to this defense as you can see right here um this this combination of match coverage from from the play cover to sync is going to take away you know really the the left side of the field which which i think is huge um the question is the, the there's two questions we have to then see is it going to take away corner routes number one and number two is it going to take away option routes okay so let's take a look at this running back on the back side here and you're going to see he's going to sit down, but the yellows will come down and tackle him just fine. And essentially, we're playing zone coverage on that left side of the field. So now you have to ask yourself a couple of questions. How can you get this to play a little bit better, right? Coverage of sync is a defense that is really good, but we want to make it a little bit better. So another little quick trick that I wanted to remind you of is that you can... The beauty of this defense is, number one, you have yourself in a mid-read, right? You're obviously going to probably be using this middle linebacker, but for the purpose of this video, we're not going to use him because we want to show you the zones. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to put this linebacker on the right, Redmond. Let's see what happens when we put him into a three-rec. Um, a three-rec hook is a very good zone, especially for match coverage style of defenses. So let's just see how this plays. And you see the three-rec does a really good job of jumping to the flat, and as you can see there, um, we're able to take away that, that very popular uh, route combination. Now, so we've really got that right side really kind of taken away with that cover to sink. 
But now we have to see and we have to test how does this play against, um, number one, we have to test the in route on the left side, and number two, um, let's test a couple of different zones. So, for example, another zone that we're going to test is we're going to try to put the left side, um, the left side backer into a three rec, as you can see right here. And then, because we know that we're going to have challenges when they start um, throwing, you know, streaks, who, who would be on a streak in this setting? You know, normally we're going to do something like that, right? So we have essentially a, a vert hook here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw Kenny Clark into a three wreck and just kind of see how does this play um, against this play, okay? So flat, we can kind of hit it, but not really. Um, running back was manned up with a three rack. As you see, he opened up and took him in man coverage. And then we were also able to um, do a decent job. So what I want to do right now is do uh, is jump into instant replay and kind of break this down alongside of you guys and kind of show you what's going on. And again, if you want to get a free sample to the ebook, just shoot me a text message. Uh, my number's in the top left of the corner of the screen. But take a look here. See the nose tackle? I mean, he doesn't really guard him, but, like, that's a hard throw. Like, that's a hard throw. And this pretty much takes Flood away. I mean, you use her the middle, you know, basically as long as we use her the middle of the field, you know, we'll, we'll pretty much handle Flood um, with our with our user in the middle of the field. So now the big question is, okay, well, that's Flood, but can you stop other things that are super, super good, right? Can you stop this setup right here, most importantly? And this is um, Z-Spot and Go. And what I've noticed when people run this against me in regs, um, they almost tend to use the same combination on the left side. Um, they might put Austin on a smart routed in route. They might put him on a drag route. You know, really anything. But you know, this is this is kind of the combination that you're going to see in 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 conjunction with that because it's it's a very nice little counter. So, anyway, we're going to go to cover two sync. We're going to do our same setup here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with Kenny Clark. We're going to pass commit, and then we're going to put this linebacker on the right and main coverage on Devontae Adams and we're just going to simply see how this plays and what you'll see here is this plays that corner route fairly decently we're still able to complete it but I want you to take a look at this instant replay and I want you to watch how the soft squat zone um, soft squats are super glitchy in my opinion um, and that's why we wanted to talk about them a little not even glitchy they're just super deceptive so you'll see here this out route is open, right? But it's a, it's basically, if he throws that, it's a tackle. You're going to tackle him for about five yards. The corner route on the outside is open, but it's, it's not guaranteed, okay? And so now what I want to do is I want to show you another adjustment that we can make out of this um, to maybe help a little bit with that combination. So we're going to go back to the cover two sink. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to take this linebacker and we're going to put him in a seam flat. Seam flats are some of the best zones in the entire game, and we're just going to see how those play. Okay, Seam flats, soft squats, and three wrecks are probably my three favorite zones. But if you take a look at this, this is the same exact setup, and I just want you to watch how the seam flat plays. And you see that time we're pretty much able to get the ball out, um, or we're pretty much able to get the ball out to to our, our, our corner. So the seam flat really didn't do much of anything. So now let's try uh, let's try a three rec. Okay. So we're just going to test a couple different things here. And what we're testing right now is we're trying to take care of this corner route on the right side with a similar coverage to what we were taking care of the out route with. And so here again, I'm just going to blindly throw this corner. And you see, I mean, like that's the soft squat actually gets back into a fairly decent position. And so what I really think is going to happen uh, ultimately with this coverage you sink, with this man coverage right here, if we were to shade coverage outside, that's going to tell that man coverage to kind of peel to the outside a little bit. And then we have our three rec in the middle, and we're going to use her right in here. Now I want to see how this plays um, how this plays this route. Okay, so we're going to go to Z spot and go in the same setup. And I just want you to watch the corner route. You see he gets that little animation right there, but now look, it forces, because he gets pressed, it forces that corner route to go a little bit sharper. And as you can see, we've basically taken that entire combination away with that adjustment. That adjustment right there has really done a good job of taking that away. 
So now the next thing that we need to test is another setup um, or, or a couple of things on the left side. So um, a couple of things to note on the left side of the defense is how does this play? Whoops, wrong defense there. We go to the coverage sink. How does this play against an option route to the running back or a flat route even to the running back? Right? So if they did something like this, how does this play here? Well, if we throw this quick flat to the running back, you're going to see he's going to basically get tackled for about three to four yards. He's open, yes, but he's going to be tackled for about three to four yards, which is fine with me. Um, what about what about the um, – we're going to test really quickly this route to square. So let's test that real quick. So if square is on a drag, right – Combo on the left side, the drag is open, but remember, that's where our user will be. Our user is going to be in the middle of the field, so really as long as our user takes care of Austin, we should be okay because that right side is now taken care of, okay? So that's a little bit about the cover to sink. Um, the beauty of cover to sink is the soft squats, definitely. Um, another thing is, let's say that they, let's let's change it up just a, just a, just slightly, um, the other thing that's really nice out of the 335 wide is you can send some really, really good pressure. Okay, so what we're going to show you right now is a five man pressure scheme that you can run. So all you're going to do is crash your line out and blitz your linebackers. That's it. But what we're going to prime, what we're going to do here on the left side is instead of having that guy in a vertical hook, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, if we bluff blitz him, or not bluff blitz him, I'm sorry. Um, or we'll just leave him in a vertical hook. That's fine. But what you'll notice now is, let's say he's in a vertical hook. Now you have a five-man pressure scheme. And so now what's going to happen is, if, if I take, and what I would do, this is my personally, what I would do is I would man up triangle onto square just in case they run him on a slant or something like that to the middle of the field. This is one of my favorite defenses for a bunch. And what you'll see is how this plays against, again, Z-Spot and Go. I want you to show you the right routes. But if you take a look at how this is going to swap off, all our responsibility is going to be is to shoot to the flat right in here. And as you can see, the pressure is going to be fast, and we've got everything taken care of. So these are two ways that you can really use the Cover 2 Sync, and specifically the soft squat zones from Cover 2 Sync, to do a pretty decent job um, at taking away a lot of what people like to do out of Gun Bunch. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get a free sample to the ebook, just text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. I want to thank you again so much for coming by the channel today, and I hope you learned something about defense in this game, specifically how to stop um, some of the pesky routes from Gun Bunch that are really, really hard to stop without even have to having to use uh, zone drops. And again, if you want to get that full ebook, um, that link is in the description to the entire defense that I ran in the Madden Classic um, that got me into, or, or that basically allowed me to be um, a qualified and compete next weekend. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys um, tonight on stream at 10 p.m. Eastern.